So if I told you the Sandbuck build uh, was the best for cutthroat cargo, would you believe me or wouldn't you believe me? Because this guy right here has got a cutthroat, <laughs> cutthroat cargo hunt going on. And the Sandbuck is broken. If I fast travel here and then I go towards him and join the event, he has got no chance on earth of beating me. So let's quickly uh, set sail. Let's head towards him and then join the event. Where is he? He's over there. So I don't know where he's got to go. Now, if obviously, if you can get them in small canals and all that, then it's even better. But I'm going to actually join the event now so he knows that Papa Deathwish is coming for him. Where are you? Which way are you going? Is it taking him to St. Anne? Okay, he's going that way. So I'll meet you on that side, amigo. But this thing, if you get close to anyone, you will utterly destroy them. He's turning around. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Right, I will see you right now. He's in a brig. Get them sails down. Right now, let's pump away. Look at this thing just chomp. See you later. See you later, alligator, mate. This this ship is just next level broken for cutthroat cargoes and PvP. They don't even stand a chance. Look at the damage he did to me compared to the damage I did to him. If you want loot as well, you want food or anything like that, you literally just cut someone down in PvP. Look, he spawned. We'll let him spawn. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to fly over to him and just give him the, hey, skull and boner, and make him go, yeah, no, I don't, I'm not about this life. This, this life is scary, man. I'm, not, I'm really not interested in it. You ain't about this, bro. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's that speed bug? Alright, just in case he's got long lines, let's, let me get moving. Uh, let me start set sailing, because if these have got long lines, then they've probably got a chance of taking me out here. Because this ship isn't built for the long lines, it's made for the close combat. Oh, yep, yeah, they got long lines. So, right, let me take them into a little uh, river here. If we can get them into this river, then we can have a little bit of fun. And we're going against the wind, figures. Always the blimmin' same in this game. Right, we've got 40 seconds till we can heal now. But we are now in a river. And now we're in the river. We can just put on the brakes. Put on the brakes. Come on, game. Put on the brakes. See you later. Probably the worst mistake you could have ever made, bro. Brace. See you flipping later. Right, let's get back out this way. Why they're all uh, worried about going that way. Let's try and get into that long river. Because if we can get into that long river, then we should be good in the hood. Let me make sure I get that heel up. Got that heel up. Now let's dip into this big long river. Because if we can get into that long river, then we are set. So he died. He did die. Don't know if we're going to hit him. But we'll keep him at a bay. At a bay? At distance. Being in the sandbox as well, their long lines are not too effective because uh, they've got to try and hit your sails and your sails are facing forwards. Uh, unless he hits your hole like that. Alright, so let's just slam on the brakes because otherwise he's just going to keep peppering me. He's got, a, he's got a twin winch. No way, he's got the blimmin' twin winch. And now we've got pirate ships after us. No, we actually might go down here because all the, the pirate damage. We've got three ships actually hitting us right now. And we've got no bracing power. Currently, I've got five seconds to wait. Three, 
two, one. Managed to get a heal off. But I don't know if it's going to be enough just because how stationed we are. Oh, yes. I can get healing off of the fire bombs. Nice. That's what we like. That's what we like. He's going down. This one's definitely going down. That's one. That's two. We've got both of them. They're gone. See ya. Right, okay. So, yeah, you can literally see that this is uh, the best build for PvP. Let's get into that river. Because once we get into that river, they have got zero chance of killing me. And I mean it. Like, zero chance. This thing absolutely deletes. They just don't want to get close. They're probably going to leave. There we go. We can see the group. Um, that did get a bit close then. That probably shouldn't have got that close. He's got severe damage repair. I'm getting hit from somewhere. I'm getting hit from the front. Right. He wants it. Make sure he can have it. Get him set on fire. Oh, I just drove into a wall. Not good. Not good. Oh, I got hit by a torpedo. So we're going to get hit by some bit of flooding. Right, we made him back off. Okay, and we're all sailing against the wind. I've probably got the best chance of sailing against the wind being in the sandbook because the sails, the way they're positioned. And I said that, and it uh, looks like they're gaining on me, and I'm not getting distance from them. Three seconds, we can get another water bottle on the go. Or water barrel. There we go. Let's get our water barrel going. It's gaining a little bit of distance because they have got that twin winch. We can take them out here in the river. Um, I'm going to pop one of these just so I, it's only a 20 second cooldown, but then I've at least got full health for the next engagement. I'm going to take them into the second part of this river because the second part of this river is really narrow and then I'll be able to kill them again. Um, they're not fighting each other. They're simply just coming for me. So this is going to be a gr g really good uh, video because one of them is level 12, one of them is level 11. So they are like maxed out. Or at least what I think is maxed out. Being level 12, he's definitely got got some real good stuff equipped. Definitely the Twin Winch, because before he was hitting us with the Twin Winch, um, he was hitting some serious damage, actually, with that Twin Winch. Let's get him. I'm going to get him go, come around this corner up here, so they can't get a long straight, because I do not want them to... Oh, does that long nines? That look like long nines. I've got a water barrel. I'm actually going to fight them here, just so you guys can see this. Let me get around this corner. I'm going to go for the fight. I'm going to break. Brace. I'm going to actually start peppering him with uh, my rockets. There we go. We got him. Some fire bombs. He's, he's dead. One down. Now we've got the next one to worry about. Oh, he just impacted me. Let's just quickly take him down. Let's do a quick little, little juicy heal. He's got some Zamazamas as well. He's firebombed me. And I'm flooded. Oh, I might go down here. I might go down, but I'm going to heal up from this. And I've hit him. He's dead. Let's get a repair on so that flood doesn't do too much damage. Let's spin around and get out because we are going to get them come back. So that was two of them then. There's two of them down. Okay, we've got that blood in front of us. And I think we've got the other one appearing in front of us as well. So I might actually just turn around here for a moment um, and try and get them. No, I'm going to have to face them. I have to fight, 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 bleh, fight fire with fire or face fire with fire. Here he comes. Let me just start them rockets off. Get some early nice hits on him. Get that fire built up. He's got that uh, mortar coming in. Let me brace that. Let me do some damage towards him as well. From the front, I win. I'm just going to have to go and dock here. Because if I try and stay and fight this, I'm probably going to die. And now I've got the turrets after me. Oh no, I've managed to start a riot with these guys. That's not good. 
Let me uh, use some heals and let me get out. I'm just going to have to go for the dock in here. It's 3,000 meters away. Wait, where is it? Okay, it's up the next river. So that's all right. That's all right. Okay, they're, they're still fighting over there. I think they're fighting each other. I think they think I'm over there. So we've managed to get out of here. Right, I'm going to head up here. And I'm going to go to where I've got to escape. Why, why are they... Wait, are they fighting each other because they're angry? I think they're... I don't think they realise that I've just gone past them. They're actually fighting each other. What are they even doing? No way. So yeah, after this as well, I'll show you the build. But it is my sandbook build. Um, I can almost explain it, but I can't tell you exactly what it is. But I know it's Zamazamas all the way around. Zamazama Freeze. Um, it is the Black Prince armour. And then we've also got... Uh, the for the top we got the rocket freeze so we could get extra burning damage get the burning status up a little bit quicker um, and then for the furniture we have got um, in increased char a crew attack charge rate um, a blaze charge rate um, we've got a blaze damage buff by 10% we have got I think they are still fighting each other. Yeah, they were. One's left. Um, what else have we got? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to show you. I think I've then got um, Demi Cannon Elemental Damage Increase. So we're getting even more fire damage on them. Um, so that's always good. Can we do a little bit more damage there as well? What other thing can we have? And then we've got the Scrapper Station. So the Scrapper Station is obviously giving us the 8,000 whole health every time we... Uh, we damage an enemy, um, which is huge. So let me try and quickly get in and get this cutthroat map out of the way. Um, and that was a level 12 brig against, and a level 11 brig both against me. Um, let me know if you think you've got a better PvP build in the comments down below. I'm really interested in what builds you run. Do you think your brig could take this out? What is your situation? If you haven't got this, try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, but I think this build is absolutely insane for, for almost anything in the game. For for grouped up enemies, the Sandbook is just a naughty, naughty build. Um, so let me just dock. Let's have a look to see what's inside the chest and then we'll look at the build. So the chest as well, I'll cut to that now because I don't think we're going to have anyone come after us. Right, we're secured. We have got the map. What are we looking for? We're looking for a little rock. Um, so let's look for that rock. And I'll open the chest in just a moment when I get there and I'll talk again. Right, so I'm at the treasure. Let's see we, what we get in this bad boy and then I'll go over the build. I, I, I believe everything I said before was correct. Um, but I will just show it to you just in case. And uh, if you are wondering about how to get the sales, well, if you go to the currency packs in the store, there is a seasonal gold pack, and it comes with some gold sales with a skull with a crown on. And what that does is if you buy them gold sales, that uh, the gold sale is actually secondary color part of the of of the sale. Um, so then you would essentially just change out your your sale color to the purple sale, which is the premium pass, uh, uh, smuggler's pass um, sale, and that's how you get the purple sales. So yeah, let me show you this build. The build is manage ship. If I go to manage ship, weapons, as we can see, Zama Zama freeze all the way around. And then we've got the rocket freeze on the top as the auxiliary. For the armor, we are using the Black Prince. Uh, and then for the furniture, we are using the scrapper station, the volatile fuel, the gunpowder bench, the demi cannon works, and the spiked warhorn. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.